no shade to all the fantastic people no, he's who filled in on Popstar. Oh but ladies gosh. and gentlemen, the one, the truly, Absolutely. the original Popstar originator, Carson Thank you. Day. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's good to be back. And we're going to start with the Woodstock 99. Oh. Everybody seems to be talking about the failed music festival. It's back in the spotlight thanks to Netflix's recent documentary called, appropriately, Trainwreck. <laughs> it was a weekend meant to be full of great music celebrating 1969's Woodstock original festival that... Unfortunately, this one took a series of dark and violent turns, and I would know because I had a front row seat. I was there with my former employer, MTV. Hey, Carson here, right outside Woodstock 99, and uh, the concert's not quite over. And as you can see, there's a steady stream of cars and people and tow trucks making their way out of the concert. Where are you guys going? The show's not over yet. We're leaving. Why? It stinks in there. Too dirty. We're exhausted, man. The heat just totally drove us to the ground. Wow. I've been getting inundated when this Netflix thing started with phone calls and everybody I ran into, I mean, like 20 times a day. Wow. So I finally, like, uh, you know, I wrote a post on Instagram a little right. sharing some thoughts about what, was what it was like here? to be there. But, I mean, this is an old uh, Air Force base. It was decommissioned. Um, it was oppressively hot. It was 100 degrees. They were selling water for like $20. Didn't it was a terrible facilities. idea yeah. from day one. Mm -hmm. And it was corn, Limp Bizkit, Rage Against the Machine, Metallica, Megadeth, and Sheryl Crow. Yeah. Uh, you know, a hundred bands and and everything that oh. could go wrong went wrong. I mean, Dang. the infrastructure wasn't built right. They were trying to make money. It was uh, the two stages, oh east God. and west, were two and a half miles apart. What? No shade. So imagine these kids were slowly getting dehydrated and angry. Um, it was, you know, the sort of wow. male toxicity at its worst. Wow. It was. Yeah. I just I actually started watching it because it of your post. I was like, what is this? I'm fascinated by it. Well, we did TRL live disturbing. on Friday, and I started to get hit by stuff on the stage, like oh, the main geez. stage. And I was like, okay. Then they started putting up chicken wire, uh, and then bottles were coming. Oh, and, my God. And then our, our boss wow. at MTV literally said to us, like, we can no longer guarantee your safety. Get out. Let's, we have to go. And, wow. like, I remember seeing security guards leaving. Um, wow. People were... You know, the porta potties were overflown, and yeah. were, it was just, it was unhealthy. Okay. Yeah. You know, wow. there was like 6,000 people who were in the hospital. Wow. There was, you know, people died. Wow. It was a really crazy thing, wow. but that documentary has brought it all back in the spotlight. My goodness. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.